Alex here from Heavy New York at the Hall of Heavy Metal History 2020. We are here with Tommy Victor of Prong. Thank you for your time. Man. Oh, thanks a lot. Yeah. Kind of a silly question I got to ask, but I never got to see CBGBs, and I know you were uh, front of house sound there for a while. Did, you know, they closed when I was 13 years old, Sally. You got to tell me, what are some of the craziest moments you remember from CBGBs working front of house there? Probably an agnostic front show. And then we played there a bunch of times. We played with White Zombie and Warzone, and um, there were three stabbings, five major fights, um, 500 kids could not get into the show. That was the craziest night ever. Sounds like an agnostic front show, right? That was, though, that was a prong, White Zombie, oh, wow. and, and uh, Warzone show. Wow. That's the agnostic front, most of the people were on stage. It was like, 100 people in the audience and 150 people on stage for the Ignacio Fun Show. And one question I've always wanted to ask you is, you know, um, as somebody who's seen Prong before numerous times, I've always thought it's a very different experience listening to you than, uh, versus like seeing you live. So for you, is there a similar energy that you channel into your live presence as you do in songwriting? Yeah, uh, right now I try to write songs that I think are going to be good live. So there is a correlation, uh, but for the most part, writing is a whole different entity. But you know, with some songs on an album, you're gonna have to perform live. So you keep keep that in mind. And uh, before we go, uh, I know that you just announced a tour with Unearth. Is there just anything else you would like uh, to promote for Prom? Just a new EP. It's called Age of Defiance, and it's on SBV Steamhammer Records. And uh, it's got three live songs, Rude Awakening, Cut Rate, and uh, Another Worldly Device, and then two new songs, Age of Defiance and uh, End of Sanity. Could that serve as a representation of what the next full-length Prong album could sound like? If there is one, I don't know. Uh, we may just make singles for the rest of my life, because do people really listen to full-length records anymore? I don't know. I mean, I do. <laughs> Oh, you're a good man. Thank you. I appreciate it. Everybody, Tommy Victor up wrong. We'll see you next time.